The decision to award the GM technologists can be described as a bold step considering widespread opposition, especially in Europe and Africa. In the Philippines, the GM golden rice trials were destroyed, and in Ghana, anti-GM group Food Sovereignty Ghana joined worldwide demonstrations against biotech giant Monsanto. We have been told that it reduces pest invasion of our crops. This is sometimes true in a few occasions, in a few years. But in India, in Europe, and in many other places, we are coming to realize that GM food is bringing farmers more hardships. Food sovereignty Ghana is, however, not stopping at that and is urging market women, most of whom hardly understand the technology, to resist any attempt by government to introduce GM crops into the food chain. Proponents of the technology disagree, insisting GM seeds undergo the most stringent safety checks. These technologies have been thoroughly tested and that their safety has, uh, has never, ever been uh, compromised. And one of the things I am proudest of in the 20 years that biotechnology products have been in the marketplace around the world is there's not been a single incident of food or feed safety. The assurance is notwithstanding, adoption of GM crops has hit roadblocks in Africa, with only four countries commercializing them. A few other countries, including Ghana, have gone ahead to allow confined field trials. But there are many others, such as Nigeria, still struggling to get a biosafety bill passed. As Nigeria, we will not be a laggard when it comes to science. Of course, managing the uh, uh, biosafety issues uh, it's very crucial, and one must be responsive and responsible. And we are doing both. The biosafety bill um, has, you know, been approved by our national assembly. Uh, it will be uh, approved uh, uh, to go ahead soon. Tanzania has been critical of GMOs, putting in place a regulation that makes it challenging to grow, import, or commercialize GM crops. I want science to come out. And science should fight this battle. It shouldn't wait for African ministers or African politicians to, to say yes or no. We are not capable of saying yes or no. We are not scientists. So the scientists who are saying this is safe should fight against the scientists who are saying this is not safe. And they should bring out the arguments and bring it out there. And if they want to continue farming, fine. But in Africa, we have a clear and present danger now. In 10, 15 years, we are going to have a burgeoning population and we need to feed them. But with an estimated 842 million people in the world suffering from hunger and malnutrition, mostly in developing countries, experts say African government's policies on GMOs can either thwart or improve food security on the continent. There are countries where policies have been the incentive at actually being able to work positively in meeting food security. So... For this time, look at what is happening in Ghana. Your policy has enabled the scientists to go ahead with confined field trials of three different crops. What is called the nitrogen efficient to soil tolerance, water efficient rice. And you have it for BT cotton. So policies are good in some countries. Some countries deserve a deterrence. The Vatican's support for biotechnology, on the other hand, is tied to its ability to increase food production to feed the hungry. In the words of our compendium then, as supplied to biotechnology, it says, for this reason the human person does not commit an illicit act when out of respect for the order, beauty and usefulness of individual living beings and their function in the ecosystem he intervenes by modifying some of their characteristics or properties. His eminence, Cardinal Peter Texan, however, implored scientists to be guided by morals and focus on the well-being of humans as they develop modified seeds. 17 million farmers in 29 countries now grow GM crops after the U.S. first adopted it in 1996. On common grounds, both critics and proponents agree genetic modification is one of several tools that can be used to ensure food security. Proponents add it is necessary for the world to appreciate the importance of biotechnology. 
in winning the Zero Hunger Challenge. The tango, however, is far from over.